Think you're smart? Let's make you smarter. These facts, mental tricks, and brain-boosting insights will upgrade how you think. One idea at a time. Your brain uses about 20% of your body's energy. That's more than any other single organ. Even when you're sleeping, it's still pulling power, sorting memories, repairing neurons, and preparing you for tomorrow. So when you're mentally drained after a long day, that's not in your head. That's real exhaustion. If you want to learn something fast, try teaching it to someone else. This is called the Feynman Technique. It forces you to simplify, explain clearly, and discover what you don't actually understand. Teaching is learning in disguise. Multitasking is a myth. What your brain really does is switch back and forth between tasks rapidly, which burns energy and increases mistakes. That's why texting during a conversation or working with five tabs open feels so draining. Want to do better? Focus on one thing at a time. Chewing gum while studying. Then chewing the same gum during a test can actually improve recall. It's called context-dependent memory. Your brain connects smells, tastes, and surroundings to what you're trying to remember. Smart students choose smart. Most of a book's value is packed into just 25% of its content. Great readers know this and skip filler. That's how CEOs and top thinkers blaze through dozens of books without reading every page. You're not skipping, you're targeting. Believe it or not, your attention span is now shorter than a goldfish's, but you can train it back. Focusing on one task for 20 minutes without distraction starts to rewire your brain. Just like muscles, use it or lose it. Sleep isn't just rest, it's brain maintenance. During deep sleep, your brain flushes out waste proteins and clears out mental clutter. Skip sleep and you don't just feel tired. You think slower, remember less, and stress more. Coffee right when you wake up isn't the best move. Your body already spikes cortisol naturally in the morning. If you wait 90 minutes, then drink coffee. It hits harder and lasts longer. Let your biology do the first shift, then send in the caffeine. Studying in short chunks works better than long marathons. That's the idea behind the Pomodoro Technique, minus 25 minutes of focused work, then a short break. It matches your brain's natural rhythm and boosts retention. Blue is more than a color. It boosts creativity. That's why brainstorming rooms, tech branding, and writing apps often use calming blue tones. Your brain responds to color cues, and blue says, let's think. Typing is fast, but writing by hand makes it stick. Writing forces your brain to slow down and process. It creates stronger memory links. That's why handwritten notes still beat laptops for studying. When you're stuck on a problem, the smartest move is to stop. Literally, stop. Take a walk, take a shower, go to sleep. Your subconscious mind will work the problem quietly and often hand you the answer when you're not even looking for it. You have over 6,000 thoughts a day. But it only takes catching and reframing one negative thought to shift your entire mood. This is how mental resilience starts. Not with control, but with awareness. Want to crave learning? Make it easy and rewarding. Set a tiny goal, like learning one fact per day, and reward yourself with something small. Your brain will release dopamine and wire in the habit. If you read just 15 minutes a day, you'll finish over a million words in a year. That's the same as reading 25 to 30 full-length books without even trying. Little bits add up fast when they're consistent. Motivation fades, but systems stick. Set up your space to make good decisions automatic. Lay out the book, close the distracting tabs, silence your phone. You don't need willpower if your environment makes smart the default. Your brain isn't fixed, it's always changing. This is neuroplasticity. Whether you're five or 95, every new experience, challenge, or memory creates new neural paths. You are literally shaping your brain daily. Procrastination isn't laziness, it's fear. Fear of failing, not being perfect, or not knowing where to start. Understanding the fear makes it easier to act anyway. 
Progress is the antidote. Meditation changes your brain's structure. 10 minutes a day increases gray matter and improves emotional control. It doesn't have to be spiritual. It's mental strength training. Failure rewires your brain faster than success. That's why mistakes feel painful. They're carving new paths. Smart people fail often, reflect deeply, and grow faster because of it. Deep work. Long stretches of focused, uninterrupted effort is a superpower. Most people never do it. But one solid 90-minute deep session can do more than eight hours of distracted busy work. Notifications are the enemy of focus. Every ping trains your brain to crave interruptions. Turn them off, and you'll not only get more done, you'll feel less anxious too. Listening is underrated. When you listen deeply, you absorb more, connect better, and actually become more intelligent. Talking repeats what you already know. Listening adds something new. Curiosity is a superpower. The more questions you ask, the more answers you get. It's not about knowing everything. It's about being fascinated by what you don't know yet. Children ask hundreds of questions a day. Adults ask almost none. Somewhere along the way, we confuse confidence with silence. But the curious mind stays young. You can build new brain cells even into old age. Learning a new language, instrument, or skill after 60 still sparks neurogenesis. Intelligence has no expiration date. Creativity is pattern recognition. It's taking two unrelated things and seeing how they connect. The more diverse your experience is, the more dots you can connect in unexpected ways. Ask why, not just what. What gives you facts? Why builds understanding? Understanding lasts longer, works harder, and lets you apply knowledge anywhere. Books are time machines. When you read, you're hearing the thoughts of people long gone, living lives you'll never live. That's how we stretch wisdom across generations. A little bit of stress sharpens your mind. It focuses your attention, quickens your reflexes, and primes you to perform. But too much, too long. That's when it breaks you. Your brain works best in sprints, not marathons. Work in bursts, then rest. Burnout isn't a badge, it's a block. The internet removed all excuses. You can learn anything, anytime, from anywhere. The only gatekeeper now is your effort. Learning is exercise for the brain. If you don't challenge it, it weakens. But if you stretch it daily, it grows sharper, faster, and more adaptable. Wisdom isn't just knowledge. It's knowledge plus pain plus time. It's what you get when experience and insight meet. The moment you think you know everything, you stop learning. That's when growth dies. Stay open, stay curious, stay learning. Your brain is the most powerful tool on earth, but only if you sharpen it. If even one of these facts helped you think a little deeper today, then mission accomplished. Because knowing things isn't just power, it's a superpower.